Hey everyone, and welcome back to Game Deck. We are back here in Twisted and Perverted, and we are trying to figure out what Frido's nickname is. We have three different choices here, and we can go with none, we can go with Chugay Bay, or Flapdoodle. These are the two nicknames we learned pretty early on, as soon as we entered, pretty much. I think we... Uh, yeah, I don't... Was it the first person we talked to that actually uh, uh, gave us the information? I think it was. Either that or it was the two, uh, the, two, the two young ladies that we talked to. But these are the two names we have. And we have three out of, the, out of five hints here. We have the fuss. Player to gay bay was making a fuss at the gates. Then we have strange player behavior. Player to gay bay was shoving Flapdoodle around. And we have the most expensive skin. To gay bay skin is one of the most expensive in the game. I think everything at the moment is pointing to to gay bay. Given that we also know, e even without the expensive skin here, but just given that we know about the personality of these two players, both uh, um, uh, Frido and his friend Timmy, I believe was his name. Yes, um, it seems like it seems like Frido is just uh, is just the hothead here. Unless they they really throw a throw a wrench into the thing and and it turns out that that Timmy is the the greatest liar we'll ever find. But we are going to try and see if we can't get the last two the last two uh, uh, hints here before we we make our decision. So we don't do anything hasty. Uh, we. I don't know if there are any more. Hello, maybe Mia and Maya have something else to say. Again, I think because this is grayed out, it's not gonna. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. I don't know why it uh, sends us back here. We did, by the way, of course, last time. I don't want to say rescue, but we uh, we uh, lied a bit for Horne. Uh, to send her husband off on a goose chase elsewhere. And that uh, seemed to have g garnered some favor with her. We do have a generator here. Solid modeling work. Okay. That's it. Okay, we can't go that way. That's fair enough. We talked to these dudes. I don't think they have anything else right now. Let's see if we can find someone new to talk to here. A trash can. It's actually kind of funny that most games have those. Let's search it. There we go, a mine. I expect, I expect it didn't go off when someone tried to detonate it, so they threw it in the trash can. Makes perfect sense. Let's not detonate it. Let's take a look. An anti-personnel mine, strong enough to eliminate the player. Yeah, let's... Um, let's not detonate it. Rusty stain. A blood stain. One of many in this location. Okay. Graffiti. People have different opinions about it, I think. Uh, let's... I'm not even gonna pretend to read that word. Uh, 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 okay. I don't know what, what that was. Okay. That people need beauty, especially the kind they create themselves. Realism and virtue... Virutalia are more and more attractive, but that's all because of anonymous activity, often AI. It's gonna be a lot of words in this game that my my mouth will not cooperate with saying. Oh, let's do that. People want to create something to express themselves, to stress that the individual actually means something among 20 billion people. Graffiti does exactly that in the lower layers of the polis. I am, I exist, I mean something. Graffiti usually means something else as well in Virtualia. This place is different. The graffiti doesn't look like it was made by AI. The stains and slobby curves are proof that it was made by a human. Okay. Oh, I did just take a quick look at our professions and we are actually... It's its a bit easier to get points than I thought. We have three of these. I, I believe we were at absolute zero with everything last time. Uh, where we bought the scalpel. And I guess it's easy to see that I definitely do not favor the, uh, the aggressive approach. But we will need to do it once in a while. So 
if we get the chance, that might be something that, that we should definitely uh, keep in mind so we can actually unlock other, other professions here. Because that seems to be all we are lacking at the moment to unlock something at least. Okay, let's say... Uh, hello, who are you? Umprapta. Okay. Are you looking for sex or the meaning of life? It's a very straight, uh, straight question. Excuse me. There are two kinds of people here. Some know what they want, they seek pleasure, want to explore, and are ready for surprises. Others are so bored with their life, they'll do anything just to feel. I help all of them. Okay, let's uh, just get straight into it. You said you help, you help people explore their sexual fantasies, right? Sometimes. I'm good at it, but I doubt you are a partner suitable for me to play with. Let's uh, try and find out if maybe Frido could be one of these suitable partners. And who is a suitable partner for you? Have you found anyone interesting enough recently? A smile broadcasts superiority. Did you fool yourself into thinking your information gathering techniques were subtle? I recruit people for the clan. I see everyone playing in this location. And I will tell you about them. I will tell you about none of them. Discretion is key in TNP. Okay. Let's uh, ask about her helping people. You help people find meaning. Here? Oh, you think meaning is only where you see it, huh? It's easy to help, uh, help happy people, but happy people don't come here. Our clan provides truth, knowledge of the depths of life, but your mind is more closed than corporate databases. You don't get it. All right. I wonder if we had certain professions, maybe she would look at us differently. Who knows? See if she, she's gonna help us with uh, with Frido. I'm looking for a newbie who entered here. And I'm looking for players who can give me satisfaction. Seems as though none of us will get what we want. Alright, fair enough. I left without another word. We have nothing to talk about. Indeed, we don't. Okay, she was not very helpful. A big beast, probably armored too. Let's take a look. Strong engine, reinforced chassis, stands out. Not sure what the fuss is about, though. Okay. Maybe there'll be something later with that one. Okay, we can't run down the streets. Guessing maybe we... Like father, like son? Okay. I was gonna assume we could run in there, but it doesn't seem like we can. Oh, hello. Kenzu? I'll ask you one question. The man was watching me over his dark glasses. I'll ask you one question. Think carefully before you answer. Are you a bloody troll? Uh, mm. This might be a trick question. He might actually be. He might actually prefer that we are a bloody troll. But uh, I'm. I think I'm gonna go ahead with honesty here. I am a game deck. A game deck. Great. Maybe we can help each other. You just found yourself a friend. I guess it paid off. Excellent. Let's ask about him. So, in general, who the hell are you? Give me something to think about. Okay, that's one hell of an opening, but not sure I would have gone that way. He exhaled loudly through his nose. So you don't know me, huh? A few hours ago, I was con uh, I was a contestant. A racing star of uh, Gudabads. But it's no longer the case. That was a match, a damn important one. My path to a great career. I was doing well, but it all went to shit because of a few trolls. Okay, so he doesn't—he definitely does not like uh, like trolls. And uh, let's ask about these trolls. But how are the trolls involved? I saw them in this tier in space—a grinning, malicious lot. I tracked them here, but came to a dead end. Set is my only lead. These investors must be furious now. Locking out during the match. What was I thinking? Set is my only lead. Investors must be livid. I locked out in the middle of a game. So embarrassing. Seem like they should have uh, redone his uh, his conversation a bit. It was a bit of double there. That's okay. Let's ask about the. Uh, let's actually ask about the match. Seems to be important. What's the deal with this match? It was a great match. The audience was crazy, Chief. I was at the enemy fortress. Certain touchdown. Suddenly the sky broke. Some trolls appeared with a strange structure. I froze. Lost my seal. In a fit of anger, I made a rage quit. 
probably ruined my career. Now I'm looking for revenge. I froze and lost the seal. I got so pissed off that I quit the game. Rage quit. I'm looking for them now. Okay. You're in esports. I play good or bads. And I'm pretty good if I if I can say so myself. I'm immune to pain. This one match was fucking important. The sponsors watching and all. And I blew it. Bloody trolls. Okay. That was about him. Let's... Uh, sure if I want a partner. But let's ask him about the investigation. I'm looking for a kid. Maybe you could help me. Ask away. Maybe I'll even learn something. Gotta track down the bugger who fucked up my game. Okay. Ooh, maybe this is something we can ask about later. After we... Um, after we make a choice. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. I'm looking for a kid. In realium, he's the son of a wealthy businessman. His name is Frido Haggis. My cheats aren't good enough to see a player's real name. What handle did he use? I don't know yet, but I found out. Okay. I don't know if I want to do this. Let's uh, let's leave him alone for now. Let's leave him alone for now. There were a couple of people as well. I think this is at that end. Yep, yep, yep. This is Ramon. Therefore, if you don't follow the truth, you will never be completely free. Understand? And Stranger, I think so. I'm glad, handsome. I think we should continue this conversation somewhere more private. Um, hmm. I don't think it's. Uh, oh, let's uh, let's 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 listen. Let's see what they say. Give me your deeds. We will meet somewhere in Realium and talk further or closer. He smiled roguishly. It sounds like a good idea. Hey, you want to see a magic trick? Oh my god, it's the unicorn again. What the hell is that? Talking horse? Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm a unicorn. Mm. Well, we know what the trick is gonna do. I wonder... If we just observe and let him, and let him do his trick... If he's gonna maybe warm up to us a little bit for allowing him to to have his fun, let's, uh, let's try and just observe. Ignore him. Focus on me, handsome. A unicorn that knows magic tricks. You want to see? You're not gonna leave us alone, are you? Not until you watch the trick. Come on, choose a card. Um, encourage to look the trick. What on earth does that mean? Encourage to look the trick. I have no idea what that means. I'm guessing there's some uh, error there in the uh, in the in the writing. Let's uh, let's keep observing here. All right, let it be. Oh, well, they both died. Okay, it's not a trick. This is another goddamn exploit of a goddamn troll. Okay, are we gonna? Did I just make a mistake? Are we gonna find them back at the entrance here, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Wanna see a magic trick? I know, it's a story where a unicorn brings magic into a game deck's world. Pick a card. Uh, let's not. Okay, well, it seems like... That was unfortunate. I thought, I mean, I was sure they were going to be back here. Because, I mean, we were. But, uh, okay, there we go. Ramon is back at least. The stranger is not. Well, we can at least talk to Ramon. Don't you have, have you seen... Hey, it's you. You're the horse guy. Do you Do you work together? You've wasted so much of my time. I'd been working this guy for four hours when you came. He got spooked and ran off. Umbra's going to flip you. Uh, well, I don't even get the chance to say that I had nothing to do with that, but... 
do I look like a help desk, help desk to you? I don't think so. I'm busy with my own problems and I have zero time to deal with yours. Well, that was to be expected since he kind of blames us. There's this player situation I need to take care of first. I meant to do it right after meeting my quota, but the fucking horse ruined everything. Let's uh, see if we can help him with the player situation, whatever that is. I can help you with this asshole player. This will save you some time and you can give you the information you need. Deal. I need you to find somebody for me. The job's easy. I even have a finder. Okay, who's that? Who is this man? He's somebody who doesn't listen to what's being said to him. I need to straighten him out for good. Uh, hmm. I'm. I, I'm. I don't. I don't know how how permanent these uh, these answers are gonna be. Um. Since the stranger is no longer here, I'm gonna say fairly permanent. But I mean, I I think it would. I'm gonna try and say this, but I I could fear that this is gonna mean that we are efficiently saying no, or effectively saying no. How about you two talk about this? Can't you two just talk? I've wasted too much time talking already. Now I have to show him I'm not joking. All right, give me the finder. Great, find him and bring him to me. If he tries to fight, just kill him. All right, but listen, try to be gentle. Okay. It's one of the three, isn't it? The old guy. It's this guy. Okay. What was his name? That was uh, Penny Centaur. Penny Centaur. The locator, locator beeped in my private window. I had found the man Ramon was looking for. Well, 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 well. It just so happens he was being a bit of a dick to me earlier. The veteran gave me a crooked smile. Coming back for more? Let's so try and lead him to Ramon. I want to talk to you about something. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Sure. I'm not sure he's gonna fall for any of this though. I mean, if he r knows Ramon, he's he might not go with me anyway. I, I don't know if he was gonna fall for me wanting to show him a unicorn, but let's try. I saw a troll wearing a unicorn skin. He set off purple explosions and acted like an idiot. Want to see? I wondered what those loud uh, blasts were. Let's go. I love hunting trolls. Okay. Come on, Ramon. You son of a gun. Let's... Uh, not Ramon. Any centaur. You came back for more. We were supposed to see a troll. You lied to me, you brat. He pulled out his gun. Uh-oh. Look who's talking. You lied when you told me you wouldn't log in here today. The veteran forgot about me. All his attention was on Ramon. And you promised me you'd be a good granddaughter. Seems we're both less than honest. What? And you promised me you'd be a good granddaughter. Seems we were both less than honest. Okay, I guess I landed in the middle of a, of a, of a family feud here. Grandpa, you can't play so much. It's dangerous for you. Even more so with the gear you're using. At your age, don't teach a troll how to swear. I was playing with bad gear while you were still locking into cartoons. So wait, so his grand... I mean, there's no, no one is saying, of course, that she's like seven. But his granddaughter is apparently playing people as well. So she's She seems just as bad as he is. Precisely my point. The longer you do this, the more dangerous it gets. And your body isn't able to withstand as much anymore. And yours is barely older than a toddler and your arm's already acting up. Ramon grabbed her armored arm and looked away. I was just looking out for you. If you don't want me to, have it your way. Don't be mad, kid. I'm glad you care. Fast choices. Okay, fine. I log out. If you promise to visit me in Rillium tomorrow, we aren't done arguing. Okay, got an achievement for that. Help Ramon force another player out of... Okay. Okay. Hello, Ramon. The smile on Ramon's face was oddly gentle. Thanks for getting it done. If you ever need it, I'm here to help. What's he doing here? 
You talk about quotas, about working people. What exactly do you do around here? Uh, maybe she's actually trying to help people? I tell the truth to those who are ready to hear it. How do you know someone is ready? It's simple. I start by saying that we've all sensed there must be something more to it. That this world couldn't have been created by accident. I talk and I observe their reactions. If they listen attentively, I tell the truth. Okay. Uh, that's no world for religion. She's a true believer. The essence of truth. Truth is not for everybody. Uh, okay, it's a bit difficult to know exactly what some of these exactly entails. She's a true believer. I don't know exactly what that would lead to and the essence of truth. Let's try and go with the essence of truth. What is the truth that you tell? Fewer and fewer people die, but many more can't see the point of living any longer. You'd expect gods to show up more often. You don't think that the world came to exist by itself. That is a coincidence. With the right attitude, purity and ritual, it's possible to communicate with gods. Oh, okay. Let's not do that. I mean, people are free to have uh, religion if they want to. Let's not be. Let's not be. Let's, let's not be a dick about it. Let's ask about these uh, these rituals. What rituals are there? I asked, barely hiding that I really think what I really think about such ideas. And that's fair. Purity is the key. Don't look at me like that. I'm talking spiritual, not physical. You have to fast and meditate. I don't know. I only managed to do it once. She was embarrassed. Well, then she probably is a true believer. For you, it's not a scam. You're really dedicated to this idea. You don't know how it is. It's survival of the fittest in Low City, and the clan gives you a shot at something more. The hope that it all makes sense. Okay. Um, truth is not for everyone. You tell the truth to those who are ready to hear it. What about those who aren't? I assess their bank balance, and if I if they are worth it, I bullshit them. Don't look so offended. We need to make money somehow. Okay, she smiled insidiously. Fair enough. You can't even imagine the extent of human stupidity. They won't accept the truth, but they'll pay for a, for a lock buff, just in case. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, I guess. Can't say it's morally correct, but whatever. We don't live in a morally correct world here, I'm assuming. Uh, let's uh, say that this is no world for religion. You talk about truth, about purity. Twisted and perverted is not exactly the best virtualium for these. Purity should be taught to the solid. It's them who need it. We are present in many worlds, but here most players lock in because they are looking for something. They are open to the unfamiliar and they are rolling in money. This place is great source of recruits and donations, so the clan pays for subs and skins. Lord even bought a, a theater. We've lost it, but not for long. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, that's uh, that's 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 it. Okay. Okay, let's before we make our decision here, let's go and have a quick look, see, and talk with everyone else to see if something new has opened up. I don't think it has. Behavior. Let's. Did we ask about this? Was anyone around here acting strange? Yes. I didn't see it, but I heard something. There are gates at the subway entrance. Someone yelled, Flap Doodle, you idiot. A woman responded, Don't talk to him like that. To Gay Bay. Someone shot something, and people gathered around. I didn't go, I just care about Rhonda. Okay. I'm looking for a young man with access to money, okay? Did you see anyone in an expensive skin? Something top of the line. Okay. A while ago, I saw two guys and a woman. One kept looking around, but the other seemed to like it here. The first had a kick-ass skin. They called him Flapdoodle. See, there we go. A while ago, I saw two guys and a woman. One kept looking around, but the other seemed to like it here. The first had a kick-ass skin. They called him Flapdoodle. 
One kept looking around. The first had a kick-ass gun. That's, that's okay. So it might not have been two gay bay that had the, the, the fancy skin. Can we add? No, we cannot ask about. Okay. Leather skin. Play a flap doodle wore a leather skin. Okay, well it still says here that, that two gay bay skin is the is, is an expensive one. That's uh hmm. Well he do, he he doesn't say it's an expensive skin, of course, he just said it was a kick ass skin. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, let's uh, leave you alone for now. All right, enough bullshitting around. You bored, buddy? What do you want now? Let's ask about the investigation. Nothing else there. Ask about the clan. Ask about them. No, okay. Fair enough. I don't think... Do we have... No, we still have anything here. Oh my god, look at all the points. Uh, there are... Uh, they don't all require points from all four. We are, however, at the moment locked out of all of them because we need the, uh, the, the red one. So we cannot get anything yet. All is well. I'm just resting. So, okay, that's enough. Nothing out of you either. You wanted me to come yeah. back when I found him. Okay, nothing new there. So this might be time to make our choice here. Just as soon as we talk about these, or talk to these. No, nothing new there. What about you? Anything new? No, nothing new. Okay. Then it is definitely time to make our choice and... Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, okay, let's see here. We don't have the first clue. Maybe that would, would have come from the stranger. Maybe it would have come from someone else if we had uh, made different choices. But since the episode started, there hasn't really been anything that makes me think that it's not too gay bay. What I hear about too gay bay may correspond to the boisterous behavior of a rich kid. Yeah. Freedom might not want to draw attention to himself by using an, an inexpensive skin and a not very fancy nickname. Yeah, but that makes sense as well. But it, it's everything just really screams that the behavior of Tugay Bay, um, as I said, unless Timmy is, is, is really, is really a, a, an extremely good liar, then the, 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 the messages between Frito and Timmy also screams of some sort of behavioral issue. Unless Timmy is, is for some reason trying to do this reverse thing, and as I said, he's a good liar. Maybe he's trying to take some revenge over, T over Frito for something. Maybe he's being pressured into it. I don't know. There's always... Always the, 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 the chance that we are wrong, but everything I feel points to, to gay bay. So we are going to go with that. It might be wrong, but we're going to see. Okay, we don't know what this is going to, to entail, but let's see. Find out what Frida looked like after entering Twisted and Perverted. Yes, that's completed. Find out what Frida was doing after locking in. So I'm guessing we have some options. Yes. Now we can talk about... <laughs> Excuse me. Now we can specifically ask about Tugay Bay. Okay, that's excellent. Let's ask about uh, Tugay Bay. The kid in the expensive skin. What happened to him? I think he was going to some secluded place with uh, with his lady. Okay. Makes me feel a little bit better about uh, about this whole thing. Where did he go? Where was the last... Uh, uh, where, where was the last time you saw Tugay Bay? I'm not sure. I've been quite busy, as you know. But there, uh, there is this alley in the south part of the location. People go, uh, go when they want to experience something without prying eyes. Alright. 
the alley incident. That's something... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so our current objective is where did Frido go after locking in? So we have a rendezvous. Frido was heading to a secluded place with an unknown woman. It does here say that Frido was heading to a secluded place with an unknown woman. I wonder if that's because we get guessed correctly or we just still assume and now we, we in, our, in, in quotation marks, know that it was Frido. So we are going back to Frido, not calling him too gay bay. And then we have the alley. There's an alley in this level that seems to be a popular location for dates. Okay. Okay, we can only choose this at the moment and we can gather more to maybe see if, or maybe find out if he actually went somewhere else. Okay. Okay, actually, I think before we continue, I think that's going to be a good place to call it. I don't want to uh, to make it as long as an episode as last time because really does a number on my voice with all this reading. So these 30 minutes episodes are, is uh, definitely what we're going to be aiming for. But we seem to guess what his name is. Don't know if it's correct, uh, of course, but yeah, since we since it's my first mission in the game, I have no idea how this works. If this indeed shows that I guess correctly, or we're just going with the assumption that it in indeed is Frido, so we are calling it calling him Frido now. What do you think? Do you think this was the correct call? Is there uh, some argumentation for it to to be Flapdoodle? Let me know in the comments. For now, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And to see you for the next one. Until then, take care.